some type of integral transforms. There are uh, so many integral transforms like Laplace transform, jet transform, Fourier transform. Like this, we are having so many transforms. Here, the name itself says meaning. It transforms one function in one variable into another function in another variable. How it transforms? See. So, it defines like this. Laplace transform of Laplace transform of f of t is denoted like this, denoted as L of f of t and it is defined as L of f of t equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt. Integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt. This is called Laplace transform. Laplace transform of a function f of t is defined like this. So Laplace transform of f of t means that is an improper integral. Integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt. Here this is called kernel of this integral. Depending on this kernel we can decide whether we are doing a Laplace transform or Fourier transform like that. e power ipx if you have here that is called Fourier transform. If you have here sigma and uh, a n equal to 0 to infinity f of u into some other function z transforms. This represents which transform we are discussing. Here for Laplace transform the kernel is e power minus st. Now what is the conditions for existence of Laplace transform? Conditions for existence. So what are the limitations? or exist Laplace transform. Existence of Laplace transform. So a Laplace transform is exist for a function f of t if it satisfies two conditions. What I am saying? L of f of t exist if it has to satisfy two conditions. Here f of t should be piecewise continuous in given interval. f of t is piecewise continuous. Piecewise continuous means if you divide this interval 0 to infinity into n small sub parts, in every part that function should be continuous. So this condition should be satisfied to exist Laplace transform of given function and it should be exponential in order. Exponential in order means if you take limit t tends to infinity e power minus st into f of t exist. This one. This is exist. e power minus st f of t should exist. If it won't exist, the integrand won't exist. We cannot evaluate integral. So, if a function which satisfies these two conditions for that functions only, we can find Laplace transform. These are the two necessary conditions to exist Laplace transform of given function which is empty. For example, if the given function satisfies these two conditions, how to find Laplace transform of that function? We can find Laplace transform of f of t if f of t is this, if f of t equal to k, constant function, I am taking a constant function. What is Laplace transform of constant? L of k, that we are going to find. That means L of f of t is equal to, we know the formula, integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt. Here, f of t is k, constant, l of k. l of k equal to 
integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into k dt. k is constant. So you can keep k constant, you have to integrate e power minus st only. e power minus st dt. So this one you need to integrate. We know very well integral e power ax dx is e power ax by a. Integration formula. Integral e power x is e power x. But integral e power ax, e power ax by a. Here, what you will get if you apply that formula? Integral e power minus st, e power minus st by t coefficient minus s. Limits from 0 to infinity. So now we are going to substitute upper and lower limit in the place of t. So I am keeping this minus k by s as constant. Now I am writing infinity in the place of t. That means you will get e power minus infinity. E power minus infinity is 0. Next we are going to write in the place of t 0. You will get e power 0. e power 0 is 1. So now if you write in the place of t infinity, upper limit, you will get e power minus infinity which is 0. If you write in the place of t 0, e power 0, you will get 1. So finally what you are having, minus k by s minus 1. 0 minus 1 minus. So minus into minus plus. So Laplace transform of constant. Laplace transform of constant is k by s. Like this, one can easily evaluate Laplace transform of any function using this standard formula. But one point you need to remember, the function for which we are finding Laplace transform, it should satisfy these two conditions. In this interval, we know that is a constant function. Constant function is always continuous. We won't get anywhere infinity in this interval. So we are finding Laplace transform of k using this formula. Okay, like this one can easily find out Laplace transform of sin a t, Laplace transform of e power a t, Laplace transform of t. Okay, are you clear?